Hello and welcome to another installment of Let's Play Fallout 3. Um, last time adventured around the wasteland a little more, ran into a bunch of creepy scary things, had some weird stuff happen, specifically with cows like these that were on a Sunday outing. Then I decided to come back here and actually follow the quest line, since I, <laughs> I wandered into a building and, and did something related to it by accident. Um, yeah, so I'm supposed to go and visit the the Moriarty guy in the saloon. Ooh. Oh yeah, I, I now have um, all of the DLC, thanks to a very generous gift from a friend. So we've got, this is the pit. There are reports of a new radio message being broadcast across the capital wasteland. Uh, the transmission appears to be some sort of distress call, and gives little information except for the location and name of the man making the plea. Right, cool. And there's another one. Point Lookout. A riverboat has docked at the mouth of the Potomac. Um, uh, carrying trade from the distant peninsula of Point Lookout. The captain offers passage to Point Lookout for any mercenary, treasure hunter, or adventurer looking to explore new land. Alright, we'll get two more probably. Two more that are going to inform me of... What's happening? Can... What do you mean, what's happening? I'm walking places. Have you got a problem with that? Okay. So you want something or are you just looking to get your ass beat? Who are you talking to? Mothership Zeta. There's another one. <laughs> a new radio broadcast has been heard across the capital wasteland. wasteland. While completely unintelligible, it sounds ominous. Well, that's good. Uh, where were those people talking? People are... oh. Um... Alert! A new radio broadcast has been heard across the capital wasteland. It's land. It sounds like a distress call, but seems meant for certain ears only. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Let me go to this saloon. Where is it? Oh. It's, it's this way. How do I get onto that walkway? <laughs> Oops. Um, let's see. Can I go like this? Is there a way up? Is there an up? Yes, there is an up. Is this? No, that's somebody's house. I don't want to go into somebody's house. There we go, but first I want to see... Oh, do, 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 radio. Okay. Apparently these are all of the thingy-majiggers that just came in. Well, we'll deal with those later. Let's go inside. Let's look at that. Is that guy waving me over? Or is he just fanning himself? I don't know. Who are you? Are you a Megan? Ah, morning. Come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I oh, told you, terrible. Bob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Son of a bitch. Work. <laughs> Come on, work. You just leave God that fucking thing radio. alone, Gob. Stupid radio. Come He's on. Up, Gob. You're not going to get anything. This is an interesting place. Are you done beating the radio? Hi. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What an what an interesting response. Gah, <laughs> f. What are you? Stuff it, ghoul, and stop looking at me. Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Uh, this one, I guess. Wait, you're not gonna hit me, yell at me, not even berate me a little bit. No. Are you kidding? Me? Shut the hell up, ghoul. I'll beat you if I feel like it. I hadn't planned on it. Yes, this one. Well, now. That's a surprise. 
I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Aw, thank you. That's sweet. Um, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Where did you come from? What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? How about a drink? What's the word around town? Goodbye, Gob. Um, we'll ask this first. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Okay. Speech 33%. Cobb, please, if you know anything about my father, you need to tell me. Look, if you know something, you'd better tell me. If you know anyone else that can help, I'd appreciate it. Well, why not? Let's try. I was like, <gasps> oh my god, it worked! I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. Very well. Moriarty keeps a computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all of the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. If Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead ghoul. Don't worry, don't worry. I won't draw any attention to you. Oh, it's him again. My god, he follows me everywhere. Mind. What? Who? You who, want something who, or you just looking to get your ass beat? Who in the world is talking to me? There's like a ton of people talking and I have no idea what any of them have to say that's important. Or if they're even talking to me. Alright. Um. Okay, so there's a computer terminal in the back. I guess we Looking. can talk with the girl. Hey there. Hi. I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him. How much for a room? What's the story with that ghoul? Um, so what's it take to hire you? Uh, no thanks. What were you saying about the radio stations? What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? What can you tell me about Moriarty's Terminal? What's the word around town? I have to go now. Okay. Um, I don't know. This one? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. I'm sure. <laughs> Enough with the tough chick routine. Tell me more. Look, if you can give me more information or point me in the right direction. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something. But I doubt it. Okay. Well, he already did, so that's good. Uh, let's ask about the radio. You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault. Right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Okay. That doesn't really tell me much. Uh, what were you saying about radio stations? What a stupid question! Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? <laughs> well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog. Yeah, you told somewhere me. Somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Okay. How much do you want to bet I'm going to have to restore it? Um, I'm not going to ask about the terminal because I don't want to get the ghoul guy in trouble. So let's just leave Take it alone. Take care of yourself, hon. Yeah, thanks. Um, I'm going to save again. Because I have no idea what I'm walking into. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that I will. Okay. A terminal in What's the back, you say. Never seen a ghoul before. No, I already talked to you once. A 
terminal in the back. Oh, he's is that him? Is he sitting on it? Hi. Ah, oh, yeah, what the hell him. do you want? Hi. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. You sound like a used car salesman. I'm looking, oh, same thing about I'm looking for my father. What's this about Galaxy News Radio? I want to buy a drink. Know anything about the area outside Megaton? What can you tell me about Megaton? What do you do around here? What's the word around town? I have to go now. Uh, let's start with this. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Because it's teeny. Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? Stay the fuck out of me business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Well, aren't you polite? Um... What do you do around here? I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. Right. Whatever you say. Um... That one's boring. Let's see what he has to say about the radio. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Okay, whatever you say. Before I ask, well, I don't know. Let's let's just ask about Dad. My God, it's you. The little um, baby what? boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. What oh, you your daddy about? passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. You're lying. The vault has been sealed for 200 years. Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? I guess this one. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father uh. brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy Is this died. true? <laughs> Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Um, yes. My dad told me we were born in Vault 101. That's what I just said. Oh, I wasn't born in the vault? That's complete bullshit and you know it. <laughs> You're wrong. My dad never would have lied to me. You're a liar, Moriarty. I knew where I grew up. Um, I guess this one. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella. Escaped. Oh, five years back. Ooh. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Yeah, that Kids, is true. You've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? That sounds like reasonable advice. <laughs> Speech 44%. I was kidding. Dad talked about you all the time. Now really, where is he? Lie. Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? Let's cut to the chase. How much for you to tell me where my father is? Tell me where he is, Moriarty, or I'll beat it out of you. Um, well, let's try this one, since I seem to be on a roll. <gasps> Whoa! Well, our time together was brief, but that is the way of it out here. I am when lucky today. When forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, he did come through here, but he left. I'm truly sorry. But maybe you can catch up to him. He headed southeast into the city. Said he needed information from those lonies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. What there is of it. Okay, thank you. So I need to go there now. Um, what's the word around town? 
Sure, let's ask that. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Thank you. I'm not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing, she's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. I wouldn't know who Lucy West is, but I guess I'll find out.